as we get ready for the America East Soccer Championship as UMBC hosts Hartford. Considering what they've done coming into this match, another opportunity here for the Hawks. Sims will give it back. Cohen's gonna swing it in. Some contact, very dangerous, and that's gonna be a goal. That's gonna be a goal for Jeff Tryon just hanging out in front of the net. The ball came off the post, and Tryon on a field full of stars. Can sign back to Scott. Three defenders in the area, he comes to the cross, and that oh. very nearly still alive. Two opportunities for the retrievers, neither one of which they're able to get into the back of the net. Or do you try to somehow get the shot through? Well, they took the shot, and it was Just a really good look. Nice job done by David McKinnon to get that one over the bar. Pension, or if it was just a misstruck ball, it comes all the way back out to Harris. We'll give it to ba Becker, who's going to look for the cross once again. And Goal. that's going to turn in to the equalizer for the Retrievers. Omar Balo. Omar Balo says, come with me now. Uh. I want to take an America East crown down. We are tied up at one apiece. With the UMBC just seized away. Ball chipped in towards the box. Gets through to Hebner and a good job. Boy, that was a dangerous spot for him. And Becker's going to win it down. And a very good job done by Sims to send that one the other way. Still on it. Nice footwork. Chip oh! <laughs> McKinnon's head. Greg what Hauk. a pretty <laughs> goal for Greg Houck. And one, one more time, zero. they're going to celebrate. Oh, yeah. All right. Don't stop the dancing. The UMBC Retrievers are going back to the NCAA tournament. Thanks, Glenn. I'm here with the uh, MVP from the tournament, Greg Houck. Greg, I know that most of the UMBC squad has experienced this before and, uh, and won a championship. It's your first. How does it feel? Oh, it's an amazing feeling. I can't wait to have a couple more. It's a great feeling. Doing it for the seniors, and it's just a great feeling. I have to ask, we've not seen many goals like that around here. Just talk us through it. Just give us a little rundown, and then uh, tell us how it felt when it hit the net. Oh, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I got the ball at the top of the box, made a move. I had a player in front of me, so I had to bend it back post. And once I hit it, I saw the keeper stand still. I knew it was in. I didn't even see it hit the net. Superb. Well, look, very pleased for you, buddy. Uh, Spencer Williams, I just heard him talking back there, saying about how he's got four rings. Are you going to get four? I'm going to get five. I'm not sure how that's possible, but look, we're very... Red shirt. There you go, you heard it from Greg himself. Congratulations, Greg, Thank and uh, all the best in the NCAA double tournament. Glenn, I'm back here. I'm here with uh, head coach Pete Karinji, who is uh, looking slightly more pleased than the last time we chatted. Coach, I wasn't particularly looking forward to talking to you at uh, halftime. Bit of a turnaround in the second half. Yeah, um, a great turnaround, and you know, I expected that, really. Um, our team didn't play well in the first half. I, have, I couldn't tell you why, but uh, you know, we challenged a little bit at halftime to uh, you know, they had a great season, and, and this was the game that we looked forward to all year so that we knew we had to play better. And, and as you all know, um, our philosophy is if we're going to lose, we're going to go down, you know, really going at them. And, uh, and that's what we did in the second half. We talked to length in the commentary box about how there's 10 seniors, about how they've got a lot on their back. Turns out Greg Houck, the, uh, the youngster, is the guy that made the difference. Yeah, I mean, who would have figured? You know, Greg had a phenomenal tournament, and uh, like you said, it's all seniors, and the only non-senior who didn't start for most of the season came in and made an impact. And, and to win championships, you got to have everybody contribute, so uh, I'm really happy for him. Who do you want to play in the NCAA tournament? Uh, anyone. It doesn't matter. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. Thank you.